so I know I've been gone for a while. A lot has been going on. Um, let's see. Let's start off with the first thing. I have been job hunting, and you guys know, because I had made a video before, that I was in the process of looking for another job to get out of the one I am in now. So, oh my goodness, excuse me. Before I film this video, I just finished filming my Eminem video. <laughs> and, whew, you're going to be seeing the Eminem video first, I believe. And then this video. And if you've seen my Eminem video before you see this video, I did not get, I did, <laughs> good for me, I did not have to eat those strawberry Eminems because my husband is eating them right now and he's loving them, so these two are mine. I love them. But the caramel ones were just so weird, but then after, as, as you keep eating them, they they get better. And I just put them all in a little zippy bag because, you know, I'm not going to eat them all and I can't close it back. Anyways, so go and watch that video. Um, yeah. So, let's start off first, like I was saying, why I haven't been filming in two weeks and what's been going on. Okay, so. Alright. I have been looking for a job for months now. Another one. Because, I, I mean, I have one. But I don't want to be there anymore. And... Just things are not going so well where I'm working at, and I just don't want to work somewhere where I'm not happy and stuff like that. So I got, I finally got another job, and I got the job, I believe, last week. But before I got the job last week, this is step two to what's been going on. My mom became very sick. But she had been sick with this for a month. We thought she was having shingles. And for those of you that do not know what shingles is, shingles uh, comes after you get chicken pox when you reach a certain age in your life. I think like I think in your 50s or 60s you can get shingles. And my mom is already in her 60s. So she's 60. And well, she thought it was shingles because she said it was burning like if it was on fire, whatever, whatever. So, she couldn't take it anymore. The second week, she went to her some urgent care place. And they didn't do a very good job. Whatever they did to her caused her to be rushed to emergency surgery. And the emergency surgery went okay. Five days later, or a week later, she went to her, this is week three, I think, or week four. She went in again to get checked up on, no, I think it was week four. She went to go get checked up on, and was told that it was just way too much uh, infection, that she needed to be rushed into surgery again. Excuse me. My husband likes to bother me. And she was rushed into another surgery, I believe, three days ago. This time, they took the, there was like a big tube going this way. And to drain out whatever she's been going on with, whatever. That didn't really work out. It was getting clogged up with um, blood clots and pus and stuff. So, um... They went ahead and rushed her into another surgery. They took that tube out. They took all the dead skin out. They took all the infection. They sucked it all the clean and whatever. Now she has this big gaping hole. And we're taking care of her. She has a nurse that comes every day, which makes me feel way better than I was before. But I am still on edge because I want to make sure my mom is okay. And she's doing pretty well. She's recovering pretty good. The pain is starting to wear. It's not as bad, which is a good thing. The antibiotics are working. I'm happy. And today, which is June 19th, was today is my first day at my second job. I was there for three hours because I had to do orientation. And believe you me, there was so much paperwork. Whew. 
and I'm not even done. Um, I think it was like half of it. They won't let me do half of it because I haven't done um, on the job training yet, which I go back Monday coming up. So I only have one day off to myself, which is this Thursday, which I'm happy for because I do need a day to myself because I haven't had a day to myself. And I'm extremely exhausted because I'm not sleeping very well. <clears throat> With all this going on, with job hunting and my mom getting sick, I just can't sleep. I just want to make sure she's okay. Even though I know that I'm in the house with my dad and my husband, we all can hear her, if anything. It still just gets to me because I want to make sure she's going to heal fine. And that she's going to be okay. And whatever is happening to her is going to be gone and not going to come back. You know, I just want to see her all healed up. And I'll feel better. You know? Um... I do have to mention something to my job when I go back to my second job next week. I was supposed to tell them today, and I forgot. Because there were just so many questions and so many things, and everything just crossed my mind, you know? But, um... So, uh... What was I going to say? Oh, July 2nd is my last day at my other job. And once those days are gone, then I will be able to get my full schedule at my new job. Which makes me happy because I kind of don't want to be broken during the transition. So, I feel like there's something in my eye. So, yeah. So, that's what's just been going on. And I've been wanting to film. I've been, I've been behind on my TTC videos and I have a pretty good amount of stuff to talk about. Um, I have just been... been I have been behind for two weeks on any kind of video. So I'm trying to double up on uploading two today. I'm going to upload my Eminem one first, then I'm going to upload this one, and then I have to film on two more videos. So that's a lot. I'm, I'm hoping to have a little bit more free time now that I'm switching jobs and my husband's going to be looking for a different job as well. Something that pays more. Something that he actually really loves. And stuff like that. So, day by day, step by step. And yes, my husband and I are still moving. But we might get set back a little bit. I won't be mad about it. As long as we are moved out before Christmas. Because that's always been my dream. To be in my own place during Christmas time. But... We might get set back a few months because of the transitioning of me transitioning to a new job and not being in this one. And the pay is going to be a little bit different, um, but they are going to give me an up in pay. So, yeah, I can't wait for that. I just want to be happy in my new job, you know? So, I'm extremely exhausted. I'm hot. It is so hot outside. I forgot to put finishing powder on when I finished my makeup this morning. And you can see I'm shiny. Like, it just comes right off on my fingers. It's like, coming off. What's the point of putting makeup on if it just come off? Because I forgot to put my fishy powder on. At least my eyebrows look good. So. But, and I'm washing clothes today, and I really didn't want to wash clothes. I didn't want to do anything. Like, my room is so upside down. Like, it needs to be redone. And I'm just super tired. I don't want to do anything. But hopefully this coming uh, next day off, I could be able to do stuff. Hmm. Anyway, so yeah. So that's just what been has been going on. Hopefully with this week she's been healing. She's been home now for three days. And hopefully in another week or two she should be a little bit better. Hopefully a lot more better, you know? But I can't rush things. So but anyways, that's just about it for why I haven't gone. But just look out for the next few videos. I'm going to do my best to upload as much as I can. I am, I apologize for being late on my videos and stuff. So, But please subscribe. Leave your comments below. Hit that notification bell to be notified every week I post a video. Well, twice a week I post a video. And yeah, just thanks for watching. And I will see... All you beautiful people next week. But keep an eye out on those new videos coming up soon. Bye.